based up in uh, North Shropshire and we are a distributor for JFC Evolution Automatic Car Feeders. The S4 has a twin hopper arrangement, so you've got a total capacity of 60 kilos of powder, uh, 30 in each side. Now the unique feature that this gives us is the ability to feed a different powder to different, um, different stalls, different calves. So if you were maybe um, rearing some dairy or some beef, uh, you could put a 15% powder in one side and a 12 in the other. On the home screen, it'll give you the calf number that's feeding, the day that she's on her curve, and the portion available to her or the portion that she's drank is on that first page. Then if you want to go into calves, you've got the calf button and you've got the individual calf uh, that are feeding on the system at the time with the traffic light system, which is a really, really easy way of uh, determining has the calf drunk, how much milk has she got left, how's she doing. Very easy to add calves, calf comes into stall and the auto tagging effectively puts the calf on the system and it doesn't matter whether she's on store one, two, three or four, that calf, whichever she's on, will be fed from the machine. Then you go to the uh, recipe button and in the recipe you've got infinitely variable feed curves that you can set up. Uh, you can start off with some suggested ones that are sort of built into the memory of the machine or you can truly bespoke them to what you want with a simple slider type arrangement on the screen. So you can set up a beef, a dairy, or up to four or five user, user curves. A further development that we've uh, recently had to supply with the JSC Evolution feed stalls is the ability now to externally spray the teat between each and every calf and to internally put a squirt of water at the teat end as well. So if you're looking for the grant, and one of the grant ob obligations within the UK is that you should have teat washing, will just mean that each calf has got a, a rinsed teat between a visit and there's an integral drain which takes the liquid away and we move it away from the calf bedding. In the machine settings, we also set up what we call IoT. Uh, most people will know it as an app for the phone. Whilst you're away, you can actually see the data and what's going on and the absolute peace of mind that the machine is feeding the calves as you expect it to and all's well with the machine, all's well with your calves. So a uh, couple of options you've got with the Evolution S4 from JFC is you can add electrolytes either in a liquid form, which would be an internal pumping system that would be fitted under the cover here and would be out of sight, or you can have a powder dispenser which can be bolted physically to the side of the machine and put an electrolyte or a glucose and uh, yeah, just another great couple of options that you can add to the, to the feeder system. If you were starting in a smaller way, you could say, well, we could invest in the S4 machine and just buy it with two stalls to start with. You could then add the other two stalls at a later date. So you've got some real futurability in your purchase. One of the things you always hear when and anybody's bought one of these systems from us is that there's silence in the shed. When you're in a manual system, you walk in the shed, all you'll hear is calves blarting, coming up and bunting at you and, and, and Really, that's quite stressful on you as the operator. Whereas you, will, you walk into an automated car shed and there's just utter peace. So when you're in the shed, you're not as stressed up, they're not as stressed up. Mm -hmm.